Hello to everybody, thank you for being here with me again. I hope you are all very well today. I am Marie Swaru. Today, this channel, Swaru Official, turns one year old. Today it is exactly 12 months since I uploaded the first video, today when I write these words, or yesterday for you, who will be watching this video. It has been a long way, and it has been hard, I accept that. So here today I want to say thank you to every single one of you out there who have supported me by watching my videos, and giving me a like, as well as subscribing. This channel wouldn't exist without your interest in it, and it is here to give you another perspective on how the world and the universe work, for whatever it is worth for you, and for whatever content may be useful for your personal journey of awakening. I am impressed with the response you all had when this channel appeared one year ago, and by all the support you have given me since then. And then again with your kind donations which have helped me and my family here, including all the Tejitans who also strongly depend on this channel's earnings, you are all simply amazing, thank you from the bottom of my heart. It is necessary to be able to afford anything that may be needed from Earth, including movement money when it is necessary to do something down there, and for food, as the funds the Galactic Federation assigned the Tejitans stopped coming in, as Alanim's advisors strongly recommended not to comply with their new requisites, because we simply no longer trust them, as she would have to go to the Viera in person, exposing herself. Even this can be taken as a strong message to the Federation because it no longer can make everyone feel safe not even in its headquarters. Thank you all, for understanding the situation, and for standing at our side during all this time. After thanking all of you, I must also thank my Tejetan team in CIC here, for their support and the constant daily counsel they give me, as well as for all their cooperation, helping me out wherever it is possible, they help me with the main translation of every subject, four or five times a week, and that is a lot of work, even though I give the text a final look, also replacing words and phrases so they match much better with what I want to say. They also help me by transforming the Spanish translation into words with the voice generator, and also with the cover artwork of each video. Besides all this, they help me see which subject is important for me to write about, and by discussing with me what can be said on YouTube and what cannot as well as by helping me solve the countless technical problems that arise every day. Without them, I wouldn't be able to upload a video a day, once in Spanish and once in English, because a day only has so much time, and it simply isn't possible for one single person to do everything daily and still have a life, because writing is quite time and mental energy consuming. Yet, I still make the English audio myself and I also make the videos with a computer program, and I also upload them to my channel, and manage everything else. I want to say something important about my writing, I do so almost as if I were talking, so the texts are not perfect, because there isn't enough time to revise the correctness of every single phrase and all its grammar. If I were to make a book, then a lot more attention would be given to all the details, and their correctness, and I'm planning to put everything together in a book or books, as soon as possible, although generating videos is taking all of my time right now. But as for now, I want you to know that I consider my writing as if I were talking with my fingers, as I am not allowed to talk directly, because of Federation Prime Directive rules and regulations, as you already know. Next, I want to say a word about the voice generators, at the beginning of this channel I was very happy with how the English voice sounded, but shortly after, they changed it reducing its overall quality. So I'm forced to use the best one I can find, and I'm not entirely happy with it as it sounds too nasal, I don't speak like that, but for now, that is all I have. As for the Spanish voice, 
I didn't like it at first, but now I've grown accustomed to it, and I like it, so I hope they don't change it. In the meanwhile, my Tejetan team and I are still looking for a way around the Federation's voice filter, so perhaps shortly I may be able to use an electronically modified version of my voice, or better still, my unfiltered voice, which is what I am aiming for, ideally. Moving on to something else, you all know that YouTube and all other social media platforms heavily censor talking about certain subjects, you know which, and the simple fact that I mix much of them with my life here in low orbit, helps mask everything I say with what the system considers to be only science fiction. This way I can say a lot more about what is going on, on Earth, because it is masked with space things, which are also used to share with you how the matrix itself extends well beyond Earth. There are a lot of elements up here that are exactly the same as on Earth, as well as countless others that are very alien, as would be expected. But the important part is also to share why those things tend to be similar, as they are what shapes and forms society on Earth, as a reflection of life outside Earth, and vice versa as well. Message from the crew of Starship Teleka. At first, Mari didn't have much faith in her channel, but as time moved on, little by little she began to feel comfortable with all the challenges, with learning what no one else dared to learn here, learning to use human video editing programs, legal issues of images, videos or sound, and government or banking legal issues, human bureaucracy, as well as countless other things. That you have no idea how difficult it is for us, although we do know that it is also complicated for all of you as well, for us. Everything regarding bureaucracy, for example, does not make the slightest sense, and she, with strength few have, with the help, support, and accompaniment of everyone here, is overcoming every challenge that has come up to her, and with personal strength and integrity that leaves us all here, quite stunned. During this year she has faced everything that has been presented to her, she has overcome every challenge that has appeared, and in the process, she has improved a lot, and she feels more comfortable and ever more demanding with each video she makes. But none of this entire journey would have been possible if she had not felt the support of all of you, who are there by her side in every video, in every message to the community, in every live stream leaving her all their messages of support. But we want you to know this, you not only help monetarily, but you have also managed to help Mari find her own voice. You have helped showing her your support, and interest in each of her words, showing her respect and understanding, with your affection and likes. The entire team wants, wants to join in thanking each of you. Because this girl has blossomed and healed many wounds and insecurities, also thanks to all of you. Thank you. Your help is extremely appreciated. As you can see, this whole year has been full of challenges, which have led Mari to grow beautifully, to mature with ethical integrity, and a love for all, but especially for the human, Swarunian, and Tigetian races, being able to work like no one regarding the videos, but still continuing with all her obligations and tasks in Teleka, and with her school, without ceasing to be responsible for all of this. And it is for all this, due to the strength that Mari has shown and represents, that even Elenum herself has found her successor in Mari. Therefore, Mari in addition to all her responsibilities, has added intensive study with Elenum, and for months now, and as the princess that she is now, she has shouldered the responsibility of ensuring all the needs of this crew through her YouTube channel. And it is for this reason that we wanted to take the opportunity to thank all of you. Because, by showing your support for Mary's channel, you have helped everyone on this ship, and those crew members who usually go down for missions, as Mari has explained previously, have, or can have everything they need to be safe and well. Thank you all, again, 
from the bottom of our hearts. Signed by the Tigetan team. Starship Teleka, Earth Orbit, December 11, 2023. Thank you for watching my video, for liking and subscribing. And I hope to see you here next time. Take care and be wise. With much love, your friend. Marie Swaru.